today, we come together as a community to remember and reflect on the National Day for Remembrance and Action on Violence Against Women. 32 years ago, a man walked into a classroom of engineering students at a called Polytechnique and killed 14 women, citing feminism as his cause. We speak about this tragedy every year to emphasize that we, as a collective society, must work together to create and uphold a culture that does not let this happen again. I'm Erin Louie Hing, a second year biomedical and electrical engineering student at Carleton University and one of the many women in Canada proud to be in the engineering field. As a vice president for the Engineering Student Society's Council of Ontario, I advocate for women across the province to be given fair access to a seat at the table. But this journey is not mine to walk alone. Today and every day moving forward, I call on you, members of the Carlton community and beyond, to pledge that we enter future conversations with empathy, respect, and a commitment to learning how to welcome and foster a safe space for all women and girls interested in pursuing engineering. Be thoughtful and turn inwards with a shared understanding that closing the gender gap is deep rooted and takes work to dismantle, including within ourselves. It requires all of us to support a more inclusive future. And I ask that you reflect on the gravity of gender-based violence so that we may actively work towards eliminating it within our community. Please take a moment to remember who we are doing this for and the lives that were lost on December 6th. Thank you. Hello everyone. On December 6th, the Carleton Community honors Canada's National Day of Remembrance and Action on Violence Against Women. This day recognizes the destructive, far-reaching impacts of gender-based violence in our society and aims to spread awareness and support for victims of gender-based violence everywhere. Today, we remember 14 women whose lives were tragically cut short by an act of gender-based violence at Montreal's Ecole Polytechnic in 1989. 32 years ago, these young women were robbed of the opportunity to develop their engineering skills, as well as their opportunity to lead long and impactful careers in STEM simply because they were women. While much progress has been made since this tragedy took place, there is still much to be done as a nation, as a community, and as individuals to advance women's equality and promote diversity and inclusion across all fields. By working together to promote change, we can collectively build and sustain healthy learning environments that support women in STEM and all fields. Understanding that gender does not define ability, Carleton University and its Faculty of Engineering and Design are committed to developing initiatives that encourage and support women in engineering and information technology at all levels. It is our responsibility to be part of the solution and to ensure that all persons are provided with equal opportunities. Thank you. Hello everyone, bonjour tout le monde. Thank you, Anita, and uh, many thanks to the Faculty of Engineering and Design and to everyone involved for organizing this important event and uh, for including me. I'd like to start by acknowledging that the land on which Carleton is situated is the unceded and unsurrendered territory of the Algonquin Nation. C'est important pour moi d'être ici, de me souvenir avec vous des événements tragiques du 6 décembre 1989 at the Ecole Polytechnique. It's very difficult to think that it's been 32 years since the terrible and tragic murders of 14 women at Ecole Polytechnique de Montréal. I am from Montreal, and I vividly remember that day. It's important that each of us remembers that day. And as we think about these brutal murders, the, the lives of 14 women were cut short specifically because they were women. It's vital that we also acknowledge the less recognizable forms of gender-based violence that are all around us and are often unseen. Growing up, I witnessed the reality of gender-based violence up close. 
in my home and I still remember the shame of not being able to make it stop. This is something that is seldom smoke spoken about, but it needs to be said out loud and emphasized and repeated until it ends. As a community at Carleton, we're committed to maintaining a positive learning, working and living environment where violence of any kind, very much including gender-based violence, is strictly unacceptable and not tolerated. There is much that can be done within our communities. December 6 is about honoring those who've experienced gender-based violence, but it's also about taking action and about the collective understanding that our actions matter. Together, we can continue to build upon Carlton's culture of respect for all. Today, we're gathered in memory of um, Geneviève Bergeron, Hélène Colgan, Nathalie Croteau, Barbara Degno, Anne-Marie Edward, Maude Aviernik, Marise Lagagnère, Marise Leclerc, Anne-Marie Lemay, Sonia Pelletier, Michel Richard, Annie Saint-Arnaud, Annie Turcotte, and Barbara Kluchnik. Please join me in a moment of silence to honor their lives and all lives taken by gender-based violence. Merci beaucoup d'avoir été avec nous. C'est très apprécié. Thank you, everyone.